first of all i just have to say don't judge me when you see the dents on this perfume hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bella and this is bella's perfume diaries if this is your first time stumbling on this channel perfume diaries is a series where we talk about perfumes a sprinkle of beauty and lifestyle so if this is the kind of content you like just click that subscribe button and join the family and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back thank you for tuning in once again on today's episode i'm going to be talking about the new release from a nigerian brand beguile by oma this brand is not a stranger on my channel i have done reviews on this brand before so this brand was created by ihioma eze she is a nigerian that is based in the uk or us i'm not sure but she started this brand i think in 2021 or so and she has created three fragrances so far beguile by oma is one of the top if not the top nigerian brand so if you haven't checked their fragrances i think you should like you really should her recent release has really stepped up like she has stepped up her game and i love to see it i remember a few months back i was literally on their page trying to do the maths I was trying to calculate how long it took them to do a new release i was like are we going to be expecting a new release from this brand or not because they just went mia on us i remember saying to myself like ihioma cannot give us these amazing fragrances and just ghost us like this I didn't even finish talking only for me to get a notification that they were bringing a new release guys i was beyond excited and i just could not wait until finally i got my hands on the new beguile by oma which i'm going to be talking about on this episode first of all i just have to say no judgment guys don't judge me when you see the dents on this perfume mystic from beguile by oma if you want to know all the tea on this fragrance then keep watching so now let me do a little backstory if this is your first time hearing bigal by oma bigal by oma is a nigerian brand her fragrances are made in the uae she has done three fragrances so far seduction passion and goddess i have done reviews on all these fragrances i'm going to link them down below or in the cards above let me just quickly summarize the three fragrances Passion is this very feminine, girly, sweet floral scent that gives me La Vie Belle vibes. Seduction is this very spicy, mature, fruity vanilla scent. And then Goddess is this very rich, pineapple, musky, saffron scent that gives me a mix of Baccarat Rouge 540 and Herbapura by Zerjo. And then she released Mystique, which is the latest on the block. Now let's dive into everything you need to know about this fragrance. So I'm going to be starting with the packaging. It comes in this purple pack with the Oud Parfum up here, Mystique and the Beguile by Oma logo. It comes in this cute little design by the sides. At the back, you have the Beguile by Oma. Just a pretty simplistic pack. The thought process behind this release, from the packaging to the scent, like everything just matches. Everything literally comes together in perfection. This perfume looks like how it smells. Let me just put it that way. And this cannot just be done coincidentally. It was thoroughly thought about. So now my favorite part, the bottle. This bottle is absolutely stunning. This is what the cap looks like. It comes in this marble cap, which I really, really love. It has the mystique here the perfume and the logo down here also another thing i love about this packaging is the fact that the bottom of the bottle is dark and then it becomes lighter as you go up you guys know i love me a good package now to the business of today i'm sure the reason why you guys are here what does mystic smell like and is it worth getting in your collection let's find out so the top notes of mystic are bergamot grapefruit apple pear coconut and peach the heart notes are sandalwood, plum, rose, jasmine, and ylang ylang, while the base notes are vanilla, tonka, amber, cedarwood, patchouli, and musk. When I saw the notes in this fragrance, it was literally blank. It was just a mix of different notes that I couldn't even picture what would this fragrance smell like. I saw coconut, I saw pear, I saw bergamot, I saw apple, so I was just confused. What the hell would this fragrance smell like? Thankfully, I got it on a Friday and I wanted to do an unboxing video. So I did an unboxing video on Saturday and that was the first time I sprayed it on camera, guys. The first time I sprayed this fragrance, it literally smelled like the color purple. This fragrance starts up zesty, fruity, and sweet. 
it smells like purple berries it has grapefruit it has bergamot it has apple i would say the mixture of those three notes kind of makes this fragrance smell like purple berries like it smells very juicy it smells sweet but it's not like sticky sweet it's more like fruity sweet it also has pear coconut and peach i don't smell the pear i don't smell the coconut but i get the peach the peach in this fragrance makes the fragrance very mature and feminine like, this fragrance is giving me grown woman it's giving me feminine like in your feminine era and now to the mid when this fragrance starts to settle the sandalwood in this fragrance is not too dominant i get the plum but the plum is not dominant so what is dominant in the mid is the rose i don't get jasmine or ylang probably it is mixed into the other notes in the mid but it's not dominant what i get more dominant in the mid is that rose mixed with the purple berries at the top and the peach it now makes it more and more feminine as it settles so in the base note it says that it has vanilla tonka amber cedar wood patchouli and musk i do not get vanilla i do not get tonka i do not get amber but i get the patchouli what is more dominant in the base is that patchouli like the patchouli comes off very strong so it's a mix of dark purple berries with rose and patchouli these are the major notes i get in this fragrance this purple berry fruitiness the rose that gives it this florals and femininity the peach that makes it a little bit matured and then that patchouli and musk that grounds the fragrance i love the fact that she added patchouli probably if she didn't add patchouli it would have not make it project i just have to add that this fragrance is beast mode yeah you know sometimes ladies always complain that feminine perfumes don't last long and all so they always gravitate toward masculine perfume it could never be me if i put on a masculine perfume i will feel like i've started growing beards or like i've started growing muscles just wearing a masculine perfume so i like my feminine perfumes i like my girly perfumes and this fragrance gives me femininity and gives me longevity it fills up the room guys i'm going to give you guys a funny story and you know the funny thing when i sprayed this fragrance at first it was just a like it was not a love oh my god this fragrance i'm crazy about it but i'm going to tell you what changed when i am buying a perfume i always look out for four things that would justify the value of that perfume or that would make me feel like i have gotten value for that perfume the first one is packaging <laughs> guys i'm not even going to deny i love me a cute bottle the second one is the smell it has to smell good like if it smells like trash I just cannot stand it the third one is the performance and then the last one is compliments guys you will not believe that this fragrance ticks all the boxes in terms of packaging i'm going to rate this a 9 out of 10 and the scent i'm going to give it an 8 over 10. i like the perfume it's a beautiful scent i would not say i love the perfume but i like it and then the third one is projection guys in terms of projection i'm going to give this fragrance a 10 out of 10. it's a feminine perfume that lasts long it fills up the room so 10 over 10 for longevity and performance and finally compliments guys 10 over 10 if i can even give it a 100 over 10 i will give it a 100 over 10 because this is my most complimented fragrance this year we have done six months already we have finished the first half of the year and this fragrance is my most complimented scent we have done six months january february march april may june and there are 30 days let's say 30 days for each month so do the math 30 days times six and i wear fragrances every single day but i have never gotten compliments as much as i've gotten this one you know i told you guys i had a story so now let's get into the story the first time i wore this fragrance i just started my new job when i went in the fragrance literally filled up the room and i would not know i did not know because i was just smelling myself you know sometimes you will not know if the next person is smelling you until they tell you they're smelling you so i didn't know my fragrance filled up the room i was just going about my day unfortunately for me i didn't get compliments that day but the conversation about this fragrance started after i left the room it was the next day i discovered that they were talking about me and this fragrance one of my colleagues said somebody's perfume filled up this room like I think it is Bella's perfume. And my boss was like, Bella who? It's not Bella, I'm the one. It's my perfume that is filling up the room and all that. I did not know, I've gone homo. My perfume was still there, causing arguments and commotion in the office. 
And then when I came the next day, for well, this time around, I came before my boss. And when I came, my perfume had already filled the room, you know, entered all the nooks and crannies. I still did not know. I still didn't know what was going on. And when she entered, she was like, oh, it's Bella's perfume. Because obviously, if it was you, your perfume wouldn't get here before you. So for her to enter the office and smell the same perfume, so she just knew it wasn't her. So she was like, oh, it's you, Bella. And that is when literally everybody started asking, what's the name of the perfume? I was just saying Misty. And I was so surprised because to me, this fragrance was just a like. It was not a love. But the way people love this fragrance, that's just the first time. You know when you wear a fragrance the first time and you get compliments, you think, okay, since it's just a new perfume and all. Every single time I wore this fragrance, and I wore it for two weeks, and I have gotten compliments back to back to back every single day that i wore it one person said i smell rich one person said i smelled sexy like i got compliments and you know the compliments were not just like passive compliments like you smell good the compliments were like you smell good what is the name where did you get it you know you, and you guys know i always love those kind of compliments where you know this thing has really gotten to your head and that's the reason why this fragrance went from a like to a love because the compliments have been endless like i have to add that this fragrance has a very familiar scent it's not like a unique scent but it's a very beautiful feminine scent so if you love the idea of a very sweet fruity purple berry scent with peach with rose that adds a lot of feminine touch to it and a heavy dose of patchouli you would absolutely love this i would describe the woman that wears this fragrance as very alluring very evoking she's like a grown woman classy sexy deeply rooted in her femininity that's the woman i would describe as mystic and i also have to add that this fragrance smells very mysterious it smells very evolving and mysterious and i love the fact that the girl really took her time with the thought process of this fragrance from the name to the packaging to the color combination to the fragrance itself everything describes this fragrance perfectly and i just love it i love when creators are very creative with their fragrances and Hioma did it again she did it again with this fragrance and you can tell from my dent you can tell how much i love this fragrance i'm looking for a fragrance that will give you compliments that smells feminine that is beast mode that is sexy you would absolutely love mystic from bigal by oma she's selling samples 10 ml samples so if you're not sure whether to get this or not you can just get the sample and try to see if it's something you would love but trust me guys i might not be able to decide for you if you're going to love this yourself but what i can guarantee you is that you are going to get compliments on this compliments guaranteed that one is on lock already so maybe sample it maybe splurge and get a full bottle it is your choice at the end of the day have you tried this fragrance let me know in the comment section what you think about it would you love to try this fragrance let me know in the comment section as well have you tried any fragrance from bigal by oma let me know which one is your favorite at this point i can't even tell which one is my favorite i love all four fragrances unfortunately we've come to the end of this episode don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't drop your sense of the day in the comment section i would love to connect with you in the comment section Thank you guys for tuning into Bella's Perfume Diaries. I'll be seeing you on my next episode. Bye.